Later on this evening, we will find out who will be the next president of the United States, whether it will be Hillary Clinton or Donald Trump. My mom. Hey, hey mom. <laughs> We're going to Costco. We're actually... Well, Darren is supposed to be here with us because he needs ham. Darren's youth group will be feeding the homeless and they're going to be making, I think, some lunches for the homeless this coming Thursday. So Darren was supposed to go with us to Costco, but he didn't want to. So now it's just my mom and I. And uh, we also have to get a couple of things here. But first, I want to eat. I'm hungry. My mom just literally cut through on the other side where you exit. And I have like a huge cart with me. So I, <laughs> I look kind of dumb. I was just standing there. Mom and I are gonna split a chicken bake. Did you guys know that a chicken bake from Costco has 770 calories? I did not know that until today, but it is so good. So it has cheese, ham, on a Parmesan bread, and it also has a Caesar salad dressing. I have the hair, skin, and nail gummies, and it's only $10.19 for the huge bottle. And I think right now it's on sale. You get a dollar or is it three dollars off instantly? Yeah. Wow. This is a really good deal. But the only difference with these is that they look a little bit orange. The one that I have, they're really red. See, look, it's orangey. Hopefully they taste the same. How many of you guys voted? I'm just curious. We always have our ballot sent to our house and then we just uh, mail it back in. But it's really neck and neck. He didn't have the big surrogates. He didn't have the big kids. Wow, guys, look at this. 218 to 265. Donald Trump has won the election. Good morning, guys. Happy Saturday. Oh, I'm so happy it's the weekend. You guys have no idea. Those 10 hours overtime this week killed me. I'm not even kidding. It's been like two weeks straight of 10 hour overtime, 10 hour mandatory overtime per week, and thank God there's no overtime this week. Thank goodness. <laughs> so anyway, right now we're watching the proposal with uh, Sandra Bullock and Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. My mom loves this movie by the way. I think we're gonna go with something a little bit different today. I normally just have my coffee black. No cream, no sugar, but since I'm in such a good mood, I think I'm gonna grab some creamer. I can't even tell you how long it's been since I've put the uh, Nestle Coffee Mate hazelnut creamer in my coffee. It's been probably, I want to say probably over a year, even longer than that. It's been a really long time. You guys remember the other day my mom and I went to Costco and ended up picking up the uh, Nature's Bounty Hair, Skin, and Nail Gummies. I'm telling you guys, maybe the difference was that this one says new and improved taste, while this one does not say that. So I wanted to take one gummy from here and the other gummy from this one and try them live and tell you guys if there's any significant taste difference. So I'm gonna first try I'm first going to eat the one that I purchased from Walmart, which says new and improved taste. So here is what it looks like. Let me grab one from the other container. This one is from Walmart. This one is from Costco. They pretty much look the same. Okay. I think my mom is putting up some Christmas decor, which by the way, we're supposed to put up tonight. So this one is from Walmart. This one is from Costco. So there is a slight taste difference between the two. The one that says new and improved taste has more of like a strawberry flavor. Whereas this one, which I guess is the original formula, has more of, it has a little bit of a, a chalky, 
taste to it, which is really weird, but if you ask me which one I prefer, I kind of like this one better. The one with the new and improved taste. In any case, for a couple dollars more and I got the bigger container with more supply, I would purchase this one over this one. I kind of had this idea that I wanted to dye my hair silver, but I didn't want to go through the whole process again of either lifting the hair color, not hair color, but like I didn't want to go through the process of dyeing my hair or bleaching it because I mean my hair went through a lot um, a couple months ago when I had my box dyed hair lifted to a really really light color. I've just been letting it grow out. I've been taking the hair skin and nail gummies which I feel like have really helped my hair but I just feel like I wanted something that was temporary, non-damaging, <laughs> not so damaging and I, yeah I wanted to go a little bit gray since my hair still is pretty light. Um, it is Mm, there really aren't too many brassy tones. It still like has like a kind of like an ashy blonde But my roots this is my natural hair color at the top So I just wanted something that would help transition my hair since I'm planning on growing it out long again I really miss having long hair. So I'm already out and about and I'm by Little Caesars Pizza I'm gonna pick up some pizza for everybody to devour at home. <laughs> Went to uh, Sally Beauty Supply and <laughs> I don't know, I think going gray with my hair is gonna be a little bit more challenging. We went with the $5 box. This is, of course, pepperoni and mushroom. And then we have regular pepperoni. I don't think I even showed you guys what I purchased from Sally Beauty Supply. So it's the Rue Fancy Full Temporary Hair Dye or Hair Rinse, excuse me. It's the Temporary Hair Rinse. Um, it's in number 42 silver lining, which it's supposed to tone and brighten bleached or dyed hair. This was pretty inexpensive. I think it was like $6.99, something like that, or a little bit cheaper if you have the Sally's card. So I went ahead and filmed it, and <laughs> I'm going to show you guys the results, which I think it really does do what it's supposed to. It says it's supposed to help tone and brighten bleached or gray hair. My hair... As you guys know, it was bleached, like bleached to the max of uh, three times in a period of two weeks. So that was a while back. Um, I was actually looking at the video and that was about eight months ago. And the top of my hair, this is all like virgin hair. I wanted it to be gray, but that's not the exact results I got. But I am happy with it because it did tone my hair. It also made the blonde just kind of blend in a little bit better. So I don't know if you guys want to see like a whole review and tutorial on it and my thoughts on it. I will definitely, you know, I, I already filmed it. So I don't know. Let me know if you guys want to see like a whole... Um, just like review and see what the process is and all that but it was pretty simple to do and I actually really like the results it's currently 12.34 happy Sunday hold on why is the screen so blue let me change the settings so anyway, I already had brunch and just chilled with the fam for a bit. It just, it just feels like one of those lazy Sundays where you just want to watch TV and just chill and relax. But I have so much cleaning up to do. We are here at The Habit this evening. Better lighting just kicked in. And I think this is mine. Actually, no. Is this mine? I think maybe this is mine, but I decided to get the... It's called the veggie burger. Onion rings, fries. I think my husband got... What did your dad get, Darren? It's like a chicken sandwich. And Darren got a charburger. 
You know what, actually I was holding Darren's sandwich. The sandwich I was picking at that was uh, Darren's char burger. So this is a veggie sandwich, which contains, it still looks like meat. Tomato, lettuce, cheese, what is this? They said it had cucumber. Ooh, you know what, this is the veggie. It kind of tastes like the, um, like the veggie meat. I'm telling you guys, I honestly don't think I would get the veggie burger again because it was really thick, very filling, and I don't know, it just, it just wasn't good. Mm -mm. No, I just wouldn't get it again. Mm -mm. First and the last time, so I don't know if you guys have tried it, let me know what you guys think, but it just wasn't for me. Thank you.